Action fans, ninja fans, Capcom fans, Strider fans, and people who just like cats on the internet, Grega Man here. Pay attention, because there's a new Strider on the way for five different platforms. Boy, has it been a while. The game comes out early this year, but let's take the time now to review what Strider has taught us so far in life. Strider was first unleashed on the world back in the late 80s as a multimedia extravaganza, expanding a Japan-only comic in not one, but two games. The first game released on arcade and outlined the travails of Hiryu, a young and promising member of an elite mercenary group known as the Striders. The game put players in the cloven ninja shoes of Strider Hiryu, who could swing his cipher blade so fast all you saw was a swoosh that made people explode horribly. The gameplay was simple and fast, taking Hiryu through a variety of eclectic locales, from the futuristic cityscape of Kazakh, to the Amazon, to this anti-gravity chamber, to this here robo-gorilla parlor. Of course, he never could have taken on the evil Grandmaster Mayo without the help of his signature robot buddies. A panther, a hawk, and this adorable little walking saucer, later upgraded to a hovering one. Released just months after the arcade game was a completely different game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Playing to the strengths of the home console, Strider NES featured a more elaborate story which adhered closely to that of the comic. Semi-non-linear progression and lots of character upgrades, like the Magnet Boots and the Aqua Boots, because that shark boy ain't gonna kill himself. The game introduced some big ideas while retaining the hack-and-slash, dude-exploding action of the arcade game. Fast forward 10 years to Strider 2, a faster, bigger, prettier reimagining of the arcade original. Call it a sequel if you'd like, but man, that's an awful lot of coincidences. Featuring some of the biggest sprites ever seen at the time, Strider 2, like its predecessor, debuted on the arcade and was ported shortly afterwards to the Sony PlayStation. The PlayStation version, arguably the definitive one, contained not only a near-arcade perfect port of the game back when that was still a feat, it also came with the original Strider on a second disc. On top of that, clearing Strider 2 would unlock the alternate playable character, Strider Hien, and clearing both games would unlock a PlayStation-exclusive stage, Stage 00, which used the backdrop from the high score screen. And that's about it. I don't think we have to convince many of you watching that the Strider has become one of the more enduring video game characters of all time, and that's made all the more impressive once you consider he only really starred in three, three and a half games. Is Strider's longevity due to the colorful dystopian setting? Its dazzling star jumps and cypher swooshes? Its multilingual cast? Well, one factor might be the fact that the first game was ported to a veritable crap load of systems, most notably for many of you on the Sega Genesis. Definitely Strider. Sega Genesis! Genesis. Strider was everywhere. In fact, the company that handled many of these ports overseas, US Gold, was apparently so happy with Strider's performance that it made its own sequel exclusively for the West, Journey from Darkness, Strider Returns. Where did this game fit in with the rest of the series? Well, they may have taken a few liberties, what with the gun-wielding spandex man, but luckily they'd already eased the Western audience into that kind of digression with their ports of the original game, which not only omitted a final boss, but even added a new ending where everything was all just a simulation that never happened. That may raise serious philosophical debates about the Strider canon, but never fear, it's all fiction anyway. Core games aside, Strider's had a variety of guest appearances over the years, from his consistent attendance in the Marvel vs. Capcom series, to bit parts in Street Fighter Alpha 2, to various others. But his new game, also called Strider, is poised to put Hiryu back where he belongs, in the spotlight. The new game will combine all the best elements of past Strider titles, fast and frantic cipher action from the arcade games, rewarding exploration and character progression from the NES game, and a fan service electronic soundtrack which pays homage to both. You'll also catch plenty of appearances from returning cast members, Solo the Smack Talkin' Cyborg, the robot gorilla Mechapone whose existence remains a mystery, and the unfortunately named Pooh Sisters, to note just a few. Look forward to Strider on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC early this year.